So how was your job hunting this week been? It's been okay. I went to about three companies this week for interviews, but none has called me back. It's okay. Just keep pushing. Did you hear what I said at all? I said none of them has called me back. And you're telling me to keep pushing. What exactly am I pushing? Oh, come on. You can't possibly give up already. It's just one week. I didn't say I'm giving up, just that these things are not easy. I know, but you have to keep trying. You can never tell. Wait a minute. What is it? My uncle. What happened to your uncle? Oh, I have an uncle that works at Chevron. I don't know if there's a vacancy, but I'll talk to him and get back to you. Really? Did you just say Chevron? Yes, Chevron. I don't know why it didn't cross my mind all this while. But what if there's no vacancy? Besides, getting a job there can be very difficult. You underrate yourself a lot. What's difficult about getting a job there? Aren't those working there humans like you? Do they have two heads? Motivational speaking mode activated. Go away, Joe. I'm serious. <clears throat> and I'm serious too. Anyways, just speak to your uncle and get back to me. I will, dear. So how about you now? How's work been? Work has been fine. Just the usual accounting duties. I see. Gaya Fana. Omo I judge day. Good evening, ma. Good evening to you too. You must be MD, right? Yes, yeah, so the one and only managing director. Da, which managing director? Oh, I get it now. Managing director of the Drivers Association. <laughs> Chidi, that's mean. Don't fire that mouth, dear. You want to spoil my shine, Abby? Ta, come on for you. Which shine I spoil? It's all right, gentlemen. I think I'll be on my way now. Already? Hope you are not leaving because of me. I can excuse you both. I didn't come here for anything serious. No, not at all. I have to leave now. I have to attend some things at home. All right, then, if you say so. Take care of yourself, dear. I'll call you to know if you've gotten home. Okay, bye. Guy, what did they happen for here? You know they tell me, say, you don't they run this gay package. Which package? I know they run any package. We are just friends. I beg, Jare, which kind of friend? I see the way you look at her and all that. Even if you guys aren't dating, you can't deny the fact that you like her. Okay, let me spill the beans. Now you are talking. I'm listening. I like her. I said it, so why haven't you gone after her? Is it until another guy takes her away? It's not that easy. I don't know if she will accept me. Have you asked her to know if she would accept or not? You haven't made a move, and you are already drawing conclusion. But she's my ex-best friend. She might not want to date me because of her friend. I beg you, you better go for what you want before you lose it. I kinda like that Anita. She seems like a good girl to me. Good is an understatement. She's an angel in human form. Then what are you waiting for? Go and get her, man. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. Hi, Mom. I and Dad had the time of our lives. Oh, really? Yes, we went to a park and also went to see a movie. You missed a lot, Mom. You should come with us next time. Um, Francis. Yes, Dad. I think I forgot my other phone in the car. Can you go get it for me? Sure. I'll be right back. I see what you did there. I just wanted to talk to you. And there is nothing to talk about. That's a lie. There is everything to talk about. Please just do me this one favor, I beg you. What is it? I want to talk to you. We are talking. No, not here. Not like this. I can't go out with you again. We are married. I don't need any form of closure. It's not closure. I have really wronged you. I want to see how I can make things right. It's too late for that. There is nothing to make right. I've moved on with my life and I know you've done the same. Bridget, please. Stop this already. I don't want Francis coming here and seeing you like this. I'm not standing up until you grant my request. 
I don't care if our son sees us or not. I see what you're doing, Ennis, and I don't like it. Bridget, please. Just this once. Okay, fine. We'll meet up to talk. But just this once, so you can stand up now. Thank you very much. This means a lot to me. Whatever. Jasmine, please stop. I'm not in the mood. Why? What's the problem? You've been acting up since you came back. There's no problem. It's just that I had a really stressful day at work. I need to rest. So stressed that you don't want me. You know I always want you. But right now, I'm very tired and want to rest. That's all. Hmm. This is unlike you. But I'll let you be. Good night. Good night, love. And thanks for understanding. What's happening to me? Why can't I seem to get my mind off Bridget? If I knew she would be coming back, I wouldn't have married Jasmine. The truth is that I married Jasmine because she looks like Bridget and reminds me of her. But she cannot take her place. Bridget is the only woman I love. I haven't seemed to have gotten over her. God, please help me. Chidi, guess what? Please don't start with these guessing games. Just tell me already. I just spoke with my uncle and he says there's vacancy and you should come for interview tomorrow morning. You don't mean it. I mean every word. Wow, I'm short of words. Thank you so much, Anita. I have to go get ready for the interview. I'm excited and also nervous right now. I don't even know what to do. Hey, calm down. Relax. Don't get worked up over nothing. Just take this like every other interviews. Every other interview is okay. No, this is not like every other interview. This is Chevron we're talking about here. So I have to give you my best. I just hope I end up getting the job. I'm very positive you'll get the job. I hope so. I know so. Let me leave you to get ready for tomorrow. I'll call you later. All right. Thanks a lot for putting in a word for me. I really appreciate. You are welcome. I have to go now. Talk to you later. Bye. So why are we here? To talk. Okay, I'm listening. First of all, I want to apologize for what I did to you in the past. I really wish you would find a place in your heart to forgive me. And yes, I've forgiven you, and I mean it. Thank you very much. You don't know what this means to me. So why did you live like that? I wanted to heal. My heart was so heavy. I just wanted to go far away from everything. Pull my heart from the betrayal and pain. Bridget, to be honest with you, I've not been able to get you off my mind. I can't go a day with, without thinking about you. I know I made a mistake. But my feelings for you have not changed. Well, it doesn't look that way to me. You seem to have moved on pretty fast to me. When you left, I realized I just lost the most precious thing in my life. I was devastated and heartbroken. And so I was trying to look for solace wherever I could find it. I met Jasmine at the company. She looked so much like you, so I thought I could use her to fill the vacuum in my heart. But now I realize that no one can take your place. What difference does it make? You are married to another woman. Focus on her and let me be. I thought you said you've forgiven me. Yes, I have, but can't be anything. We are done for good. Don't you have any feelings for me? Even if it's a little? No, I don't. Is this the reason you called me here? Look, I have somewhere to be urgently. Bridget, please. And then stop it. You just got married for goodness sake. Focus on your wife and your new family. It should be the last time you ever call me for something like this again. Nonsense. <laughs>